This is Al Fritch at EarthHealing.info. We are presenting a practical application of the YouTube recently made called The Need for Environmental Resource Assessments. We have gone to Cardome, which is a famous old place that was used for education and meetings in the past, and uh, which is located now at uh, Georgetown, just north of Georgetown, Kentucky. Uh, the, the property is now owned by the local Catholic Church, and it's going to be refurbished in some way to apply for both church worship and also for uh, education. And at the present, it is being used uh, as uh, uh, for festivals and for marriages and for other things by the community itself. And let us look at a little bit at our visit at that and to answer some of the elemental questions that are raised as to whether a resource assessment is proper at this time. First, we have the pastor's assent that he, we can come and do this. In fact, it was his invitation that brought us there. This is Father Lind, who is speaking here. We are now approaching the property. We're looking at... Uh, a piece which is actually 40 acres of what was once an 80-acre tract of land, 40 of which has been turned over to the city of Georgetown in order to make a park out of it, and the other 40 remains as part of this center that is being assessed, if possible. We had the invitation of Father Lynn, who is the pastor, to come and look at the property itself and to consider whether an assessment is even possible. We re arrived at the property, and then we met uh, Jim Caleb, uh, who is uh, the one who is in charge of the uh, Renaissance Center that is now presently used uh, by the community. And Jim showed us around the various parts of it, because it became evident to us that the focus would have to be on the buildings. Large number exist at this time, two large buildings of which have been used in the past for education. Uh, and uh, we were wondering whether how many of these could be possibly reused for a period of time before a church structure may be built someday, or how many could be actually uh, used uh, right away for education. In fact, it is going to be used very soon for a kindergarten, moving that over from the church which is in the other part of town. Uh, the buildings uh, are of great interest because many of them are old, but in general, well kept, uh, except for some of the interior has not been used in the upper floors for a period of time. There is a chapel within this building which had been used once. It is large, it could hold several hundred people. Could it be enlarged is what we were wondering. Could the front part, which was a parlor, be now turned into an entrance or an atrium to a church coming in the front door? Can the tower be considered the same as a chapel uh, tower today? Uh, these are questions that are raised uh, if the building would be used for a period of time before a church uh, is constructed. Uh, there, that is not the only open space that is available for chapel. There is in the second building that is uh, next to it, and which was part of a school, a very large room, which is also being used for a lot of weddings today. And this, too, could be used as a chapel if some enlargement could be made uh, within the structure itself. And we wonder if either of them are big enough for what the church is. It's the biggest question that is raised here. The school itself has a lot of facility here that could be used, uh, and uh, there is no need for making major improvements, though they would probably have to conform to certain state laws which have come into effect recently. But at the same time, uh, we know that the challenge that is there could be easily met uh, by the church community, which is growing at a very fast rate at this time. Energy is a third area that we always look at if we have a green piece of property. And uh, it is somewhat difficult here because uh, many of the buildings are being maintained so that no freezing occurs. 
at uh, somewhere around 50 degrees, but some areas are now in use as office, and so they have to be heated up at a higher rate. And uh, this heating is done through fossil fuels. Uh, can it be moved into the direction of renewable energy? And certainly there are a lot of space uh, for that to be uh, considered, especially some of the roof areas are have good fa south facing and could be uh, easily transformed into uh, solar energy. Uh, other than that, through the use of geothermal, uh, other uh, renewables could be considered, uh, but uh, perhaps wind is impossible at this time. But we have to think about that. How could energy be used in an efficient way uh, in this property as it would move over uh, to the church center that is being expected? Uh, water is an area in which uh, the Cardone property uh, is blessed. Uh, it is next to the Cardone Park, which was given by Toyota and has a large uh, a pool uh, and also running water going into it. It is uh, an extremely beautiful place of where land and water had an, have an integral part, as we always ask for. So there's really not anything new that has to be added in this area, but at the same time, it is something that the property is blessed with and also being close to the river too. The uh, land itself was used as formerly when there were students and also people even living on the property in large numbers, uh, it was used for farming. And so some of that could be brought back, in fact, the land is still available uh, to be made into maybe community gardens or something. My mother went to school here around 1920. And so at that time, a lot of the property was being used. Uh, and we have a beautiful barn that shows that it was used uh, for uh, gardening and for raising a lot of the uh, food that was used by the people uh, who were uh, affiliated with Cardome at that time. Uh, the property itself has a number of beautiful trees, ancient trees that were allowed to grow here for a period of time. And they have been cataloged. Actually, you would say they have been assessed by a Boy Scout uh, 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 senior project. And uh, the map is available uh, showing uh, the heights of the trees, the, uh, the type of species they were, and where they're located on the property. Um, there is also a group of trees that form part of the border of the property that could still be regarded as a wildscape in some way for the different uh, little animals and, and birds that come into the view. We uh, would expect that people would uh, keep taking good care of these trees uh, for their immense uh, as, uh, asset to the property itself. Uh, like the water and the trees, the uh, place is actually gifted uh, with a lot of uh, transportation sub-facility, such as parking, in which there is a large amount of it, even if there were uh, quite a number of people coming uh, for church worship or education. Also, there's a beautiful entrance to the place. There's directional signs there. Uh, which are quite uh, adequate at the present time. There are roadways, and they are also uh, available uh, for the public or for private, uh, depending on how it is located. Uh, and uh, the actual area, we would say, uh, is available for using vehicles which are very efficient. And so not much would have to be done are said about uh, in an assessment about any improvement in these areas. They are very well kept up at this time. Community relations is another of those areas we would not have to say an awfully lot about because right now it's not only used for festivals, but there's a senior center there, center there which is being used. And also, uh, if they make a kindergarten move it very soon, they will be moving it back into education. And so com the community itself thinks a lot of Cardone. 
they consider it as a community center. In a final word, uh, this is a good place for an assessment. But at the same time, we can look at the environment in the area. Uh, it is one which uh, does include a considerable amount of traffic, as we can see on the road, a major highway coming out of Georgetown to the north. But other than that, uh, its air pollution and its water pollution problems can be easily met with a, where there is some damage at this time. And uh, it is really an inviting part, uh, something that the tower can be seen from a distance, and therefore it brings people to the place. And it is, uh, the environment can easily be one in which is inviting in its whole. So we consider this as a place that is prime for an assessment, especially the interior space needs of the place. This is Al Fritch at EarthHealing.info. Come and visit us sometime.